M0FXB. Just a quick one here. I know it's a second hand. It's not really a proper unboxing, but I like to show everything I do. So this is an Icom 880D. It does have D-Star. It's a dual-band radio, single receive. So there's the backing plate that comes with it. You put the head unit on, and I've also got this one here, so I could, you know, effectively put a screw through there, and that will hold it. Okay. Um, power lead, nice power lead fused. And one of them, I've got a separation cable for, for the head unit as well. Proper icon one by the looks of it. Let's take that off. Of course, it's a used unit. It cost, it did cost about £180. I think I got a fair price on this. So uh, why did I buy it? Because I want to start doing some videos on, on D-Star when it first came out. So there's the head unit. Very nice. So when D-Star first came out, it was, we were all, none of us knew, you know, had a clue, repeater one, repeater two, so Q, so Q, my call sign, your call sign, all that kind of stuff. And uh, it was very confusing, but lots of people made videos using this radio. And I'm looking forward to learning D-Star from the beginning rather than the way we are now where we were all quite familiar with DR mode. So it's, there was no original box, but the good thing is, look at this radio, it's literally in brand new condition. So I'm obviously really pleased about that, PL259, Data, packet, speaker. I know it's going to sound good. Icom always make good radios. Uh, look at that. Feel that. It's, it's literally like new. So I am quite chuffed because I do buy these radios to keep. So if we just... Uh, the manual is in... You can tell that the owner <laughs> did read the manual because the manual is actually quite worn. So I, can I might be able to straighten this out. And there is a way of making paper look new again. So when I learn that way, I will make a video doing that. Now, another thing I've got is I've actually got a separate head unit with a scratch on it. It's working fully, but it's got a scratch on it. And I'm going to show you how to get rid of the scratches on your, on your radios because scratches are really annoying. So let's just quickly put the head on. I can't turn it on now. I'm just doing this for you. And I've never done this. So if I look like I don't know what I'm doing, I don't. There you go. It looks like that. I actually prefer it with the head unit off. I think the base unit, that bit sticking out there where the microphone goes, is uh, is quite. Isn't, it doesn't actually look great. I'll show you the microphone. Okay, and it plugs in here, and it looks like look when the head unit's off. Well, not look like you can plug it into the head unit, which I think is a, a must for radios that have a separation head unit. And the good thing about the microphone is that it's f fully ro remote control, controls the whole radio, and we'll do a video literally just showing you how to use that. And I know it's an older radio, but we're gonna learn something about the beginning, uh, the beginnings of D-Star and how to program a D-Star radio without using DR mode, although they did bring in DR mode. Here, look, DR. You've got your CS files and all that kind of stuff. Not CS, CS. Um, well, you'll see when you push it, you can see CQ, 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 repeater one, repeater two, all that kind of stuff. And we'll learn the nuts and bolts. They did have banks and got this nice, nice clear crystal kind of display here. Push button here, push buttons here. Lots of selection and multiple selections. Volume, squelch, it does say digital. Some of the models, the older ones said D-Star, but they had to change that for some reason. So there it is there, ID. 880 digital transceiver. So I'm very pleased. I'm looking forward to making lots of videos on this radio. Catch you on air. Please like and subscribe to my channel. 73, all the best.